Continental Airlines Arena at East Rutherford, New Jersey. The site tonight, east against west, as the Nets entertain the Sacramento Kings. Our Nissan starting lineups first for Sacramento. Mike Bibby in the backcourt with Doug Christie, the front line, Vlade Divac, Chris Weber, the starter at the fourth spot, and of course, Pedro Stojakovic, the NBA's leading three point shooter for New Jersey. Lawrence Frank. Let's get to lose back-to-back -back games. The Nets will try to keep that trend going tonight. Kerry Kittle, Jason Kidd up front. Jason Collins, Kenyon Martin, and Richard Jefferson. Well, the Nets haven't had much success against this Sacramento team. And three straight losses, a couple of them coming in lopsided fashion. And Jason and New Jersey back to full strength tonight. Kenyon Martin, as we mentioned, had to sit out that game Sunday in Miami with the left ankle injury. Rick Adelman, meantime, the fifth year head coach for the Sacramento Kings and with the win tonight Adelman will become the all-time winningest head coach in Kings history and you look at the head-to-head -head matchups with the Nets and Sacramento Kings in the Jason Kidd era and Ken, not, uh, Kelly not much success in that group well again we, we talked about this team and their offensive ability and right now they're playing with a uh, a lot of confidence at a high level you know tied for the Best record in the league. They're 19 and 12 as a road team, and they're trying to get win number 50 on the season as they come in 49 and 17. Oh. Tough task for the Nets. Where is this Nets team uh, as the postseason fast approaches here? Well, the players also like these types of games. Trying to prove yourself against one of the elite teams, and uh, that's something that you know should get you ready for the ball game. Martin works into the quarter for Jefferson. A good look at a three. And RJ has just been on. Jefferson again trying to work against Stojakovic. Jefferson very active away, trying to run Page around some straights. Martin falling away. And he rolls it home. Can you Martin try to move? One-on-one -on -one with Kidd, a foot race, tries to fling it over the shoulder. And Collins the rebound. Great job getting back by Kidd in transition. Kittles back to Martin. And a left-handed reverse finish. And that's what they need to do, Bigger. Second bucket for Kenny, and he has four points. Weber. Pretty feet inside for Pippi, had it knocked away. Kid put feet to Kittles, a two-on-one, and Jefferson with a two-handed finish. Just like that, again, a steal leads. And they've done it with defense. Stojakovic, a three-pointer. Kid the feed, Jefferson beating Stojakovic. Now he beats Stojakovic because... Well, Pedro was the guy who took the shot. He has to be thinking, where are my teammates in that situation? That's Pedro true, too. There's there. got to be some help for you, but he also can't waste any time looking for help from the referees. Rick Adelman trying to make King's history tonight, as we mentioned, looking for career victory number 296. Defense into offense for New Jersey. As the Nets now in the midst of a 10-0 run, the last bucket, Jefferson able to beat Patriots Stojakovic. Timeout. Sacramento just 2 of 12 here at the start. Jason Kidd. Now to Kittles, who struggled Sunday in Miami. Kittles, a long two-pointer. Good job, Luke. Sacramento, as we mentioned, struggling to, to miss. 10 of their first 12 shots. Jefferson again against Stojakovic. Isolated. Jump nice stop. Move. Great move. And RJ able to finish. And jump stop. Bibby tracks it down. Weber tiptoeing the baseline. Jason Collins closing out. Rodney Rogers is checked into the game. Comes away with it. Weber doesn't have much lift. Here's Kittles. That's a two-pointer from Kittles. No hesitant. Uh, cleverly doing it without holding on to Collins. If you hold a guy, I think you're going to be called for a foul. You just kind of pushed him away there and create some space. Here's Kittles. Off the feed from Rodney Rogers. He's Kittles got the early stroke. Start. Yep. Three of Sacramento and New Jersey, one and two respectively in assists per game, Kelly. But here at the start, the Nets have been the team that's distributed. Well, it's not surprising because the Nets have been able to run up the ball, run the ball off the floor and get transition looks, two on one, three on two. And when you have a guy like Jason Kidd always looking up the floor and guys like Kerry Kittle knocking down jump shots. Got to look at the assist to field goals tonight, New Jersey. A high percentage, eight assists on the nine field goal attempts. Rodgers left open. Miller closing it. Another three-pointer. Right in front of us and it looked good all the way. Divac's quick feed into the corner for Peeler. A long two. Rims out, a fight for it. Rodgers comes away with it. 
Here's Kidd now pushing Temple. Kidd, that deceptive move towards the goal. Wait and wait and wait, and he has a season low nine points in that first quarter for Rick Adelman's Kings. One quarter complete here at the Meadowlands. It has been all New Jersey so far. It's three point range, too. Not something that he looks to take, but. Uh, Certainly can step out there 15, 18 feet on a consistent basis. Kittle's using that Scalabrini screen. Rogers wide open for three. Yeah. His nope. second trifecta tonight. No pressure. Marani was the only thing working for the Nets in that first meeting at Arco back in November. He had 23 points in that loss to the Kings. Pass knocked away. Rogers tracks it down. Good hands there to fight it away from Miller. Cross court Kittles. Williams, tough pass to handle. They find Rogers again left open. Make it two in a row from almost the same spot. Three for three. Oh, 19 points, 32-13. Buford. And Rogers rebounding. He's doing everything tonight, but the outlet not on the target. Kittles to steal. Two on one with Scalabrini. They're out hustling him right now. Sacramento really sleepwalking. And the Nets are taking full advantage. Great hustle by Kerry Kittles that time. And this Meadowlands crowd up on its feet as Rick Adelman forced to burn a timeout. Nets have come to play tonight. An 8 nothing run against the top seed from the West Sacramento timeout. And the Nets have run and shot their way to a 21-point lead. Rodney Rogers off the bench, knocking down triple after triple after triple. And getting a little help at the defensive end as the Nets hustling. Kerry Kittles gets the knockaway, creates a two-on-one situation. And it's all to Veal to finish it off. 34-13. Rodney Buford, his fourth NBA season out of Creighton, 26 years of age. Signed his second 10-day contract with the Kings earlier this month. Rogers again left open. They have really forgotten about him on the offensive end, and he's making it pay for it. That's when you know the night's going. And he hasn't missed yet. Four of four in this first half. Take another look. How good's it going for Rodney? Watch this. Everybody thinks this is a miss. And yeah, most of those guys will say it's shooter's touch. Backs his way in. Kid comes down to double. Bibby left open. A fight for it. And it's Scalabrini with his first rebound. Here's Harris. A long two. Everybody's shooting it. 64%. Look at the bench score. Miller. Blistering shooting and no offensive boards for the Kings. Rodgers. A three-pointer and rattles it home. Can't ask for any more. Keep fighting them. Five for five. Rodney with 14 off the bench. Another timeout for Rick Adelman. The third triple tonight for Rodgers. 11 points for Rodney all in the second quarter. Another Sacramento timeout. It's been the Rodney show so far. Rodgers comes off firing, spotting up. He's not getting much pressure, and when you find your stroke, you can't wait to get your hands on the basketball. Rodgers Five for five, four of those three-pointers, and even a little luck doesn't hurt as Rodgers ends it. That great string, count him up. He's got 14, and the Nets are on a blistering pace. Here's Stojakovic or pretty much anyone else that can shoot the basketball. It's going to be lights out. Well, Stojakovic missing a point-blank layup that time. Did everything but score. Yes, he did. Rodgers thought about it, taking Miller off the dribble. Smart play. Now they find him. Here in the second quarter, Rodgers last time, little head fake to Miller, and no one, no one, I repeat, steps around and helps as Kenya Martin sets a little screen underneath, but you've got to get better rotation defensively. And no field goals last 3.30 for the Nets. Under four minutes to play now before halftime. Jefferson. Back to Jason Kidd. Thought about it. Kidd pulls up. Good decision. Christy came from. Excuse me, field goal for Mike Bibby. Bibby now just two of nine shooting for seven points. 
Collins turns into the corner for Kittles. A wide open look. Good patience there. Kings get caught. Seven of Weber's nine points have come in the second quarter. Martin, it's pretty low. Good cut off the ball by Collins. And Final nine seconds. Kidd working against Christie. Hands to Jefferson. Christie picks him up on a stretch. Jefferson blows by him. Boy, and Jefferson a chance of three points. Did he ever. He catches Christie flat-footed. And let me tell you, he got the step on him and left him in the dust. Great finish, Richard Jefferson. Jefferson just had a sixth gear that time. He did, and a not a good foul from Miller, as Richard knows he did something nice. The horn sounds here at Continental Airlines Arena. The Nets getting contributions from all across the board tonight over the first two quarters, including Rodney Rogers. Filling it up from three-point distance. Rodney in double digits already. As we have reached halftime, the Nets dominate over the first two quarters. They lead 54 to 35. The Tri-State Ford presents tonight's key matchup. Richard Jefferson involved. And one of the more impressive moves we have seen from Jefferson just prior to the halftime. Down to single digits and then work from there. The Nets have to sustain that same energy that they had in the first 24. A couple of looks that time. Sacramento couldn't finish. And then it's Kenyon Martin on the other end. Well, a run out. And there was the epitome of what we've been talking about. A minute gone by. Third quarter here at the Meadowlands. The Nets and Sacramento Kings, second of two meetings this season. Play clock down to single digits. It's down to four now. Jefferson wants to take Stojakovic, and again, able to blow right by his defender. Quick step, and he gets baseline. And as a defender, you're always told. Mate, here's Bibby. Works against Kidd. They leave Weber open. Flat. A fight forward along the baseline. Collins comes away with it. Weber now, Kelly, just four of 15 shooting. Kidd nets in transition as Kidd threads the needle to Kittle. Before it's too late, Christie. Well, oh, this Sacramento team just can't buy one right now. 28% shooting, and look at the Nets right back into transition. Jump shots lead to fast breaks, and Sacramento not playing with much energy. The Nets, well, they're on fire. Fresh legs. Nets giving Sacramento a taste of their own medicine tonight. Defense into offense. A lot of it coming in the transition. Kid finding Martin. And then a moment ago, Kid, the outlet pass. Jefferson, and then Kittle's the finish. Timeout. No change in personnel for either team out of the timeout. D Box back to the rim against Collins. A lot of contact. D Box just spinning off that pivot foot. And Kid rebounds. The kid doesn't have numbers. He doesn't care. He's going to find Kittle's pushing tempo. And it's hard to argue that approach. No, why, why wouldn't you? I mean, the way Jason Kidd plays, he can certainly make you think. I would be pushing it, too, as you get a look at the assist totals. They're just getting easy shots. Bibby, a miss. Jason Kidd with 10 of those 23 assists. Make it 11. Just anticipating once again. We see Kidd. He makes it look so easy. And as I've said many times during the season, you don't catch up to Kerry Kidd. Get a look at Jason Kidd. Watch as he takes his, not even look in, just lays it in front, anticipating that Kittles is going to travel. That's how he got to the bucket. Took one too many steps. Christie's shot Great by Martin. Kidd, touch fade to Jefferson. Don't fall asleep because they're running by it. All star. Well, the Nets can do no wrong tonight. Their lead back to 27. Stojakovic blocked by Jefferson. Here's Kidd orchestrating. Martin. Jefferson and a foul. Running it up. Defense to offense. Layup. Kenya Martin starts it out with the help defense. And one on none here is Jefferson ahead of the field. And then Jefferson catch up defense to get the block. And then Kidd, a little indecision at first. And then moving around, Jefferson, the benefactor right there underneath. 
That's the first I've seen slapping heads. On outside, the Nets attacking tonight, not only in the half court, but in the transition. Some of their handiwork tonight. Well, it has been a fast break night to remember as the Nets have just gone up and down. Everyone getting involved. Kid sensational in leading that break as he usually is sharing the basketball. When you get that close, you're going to make most of them. The Nets with 30, count them, 30 fast break points already. On Sunday, they were outscored by Miami yeah. in that loss, 25 to 10. Kittles into the corner for Martin, a wide open look. Aaron Williams into the game, the offensive board. Kittles a three. Huge, huge second chance opportunity there. Kings force a minute. Sure, if he wanted to shoot or didn't want to. As the third quarter horn expires here at the Meadowlands. Kerry Kittles back from a subpar performance on Sunday. 19 points as the Nets take a 20 point lead into the final quarter. but they're passing it this hasn't been as crisp as we have grown accustomed to seeing from them yeah they're not being firm with the ball whatsoever very careless as you mentioned and need to be stronger great extra feed Rogers to Lucius Harris I think that man recognizes Rick out Lithuanian product there's Jefferson on a dribble between two defenders not much space there he finds Harris and Lucius with back-to-back -back buckets. Here's Peeler. So Nyla had to collect himself under the basket. Bibby tonight just 6 of 16 shooting. But he does lead the Kings with 17 points. Sacramento trying to keep this respectable. Back to within 20 points. Kittles with a three-point answer. Bombs away. He got a hand or two on that one. Went right to... Right back to the Nets. Kittles in traffic. Finds Harris. Oh, Lucius fielding it right now. All created off of penetration there as Kittles set him up perfectly. More energy than what they played with tonight. Also Rodney Buford in for Sacramento. Rogers has to force it with some guy right there. It's his night. Just one of those nights. Great luxury tonight for the Nets in a blowout situation. A chance to rest Jason Kidd, who, of course, has been bothered by that bone bruise in his knee, still trying to fight his way back to full strength. Kenyon Martin, a chance to rest. Nets, extra opportunities underneath again. It's Rodgers. Go up there on the sideline as he looks on from the Kings bench. Here's Buford. Buford locked emphatically by Collins. And I think the fact that he backed off him Surprised that he knocked it down. I think the coaching staff then said to him, he can shoot it. Jabari has appeared in 26 games this season for the Kings. 26 years of age out of Louisiana State. Meet Todd Curry Kittles. This continues to steamroll with this Nets offense. Sacramento trying to maintain a three and a half game lead over Minnesota for that top spot in the West. Good luck from Ponadage finding Veal underneath. Veal is good. This will be their 29th double-digit victory of the season. That leads the NBA. Of course, tied with the world champion San Antonio Spurs, but a much-needed victory tonight for the Nets against the top team from the Western Conference, Sacramento. Nets led by as many as 30 points, and they blow out Rick Adelman's kicks tonight here at the Meadowlands, 94 to 77, Rondy Rogers a big night. He had 20. Nets were led by 24 points from Kerry Kittles. Again, the final, New Jersey over Sacramento, 94-77. Special thanks to producer Frank DeGrace, director John Wilson, supervising producer Woody Fryman, and the executive producer John Filippelli. Join us again Friday at 7.30 with the Nets take on the New York Knicks. Stay tuned right now for the Nissan New Jersey Nets postgame. We send it to Bob Lorenz in our Yes Studios. Knocked down three straight from three point to start the ball game. And did you feel it was kind of your night when that jump shot for two about the foul line went straight up and came straight down? Yeah, it was. You know, when I took that shot, it hit the back of the iron and went straight up in there. I was like, oh my God. But it went <laughs> in. So I figured the night I had it going. Well, you did have it going. And uh, so did the Nets all night long. It was a great win by you guys. Uh, great success uh, by the whole team, but in particular you. Thanks for joining us, Rodney. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.